Hi friends, Saurav here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we are going to learn about toCAD function today. Okay, so what toCAD does? It converts any data type. It could be, uh, I mean, it converts any data type into string, characters, or bar chart. It could be anything, date or number. If it is date data type, it can convert it into a string. If it is data data type, it can convert it into string or characters or varchar. Okay, so this is what two care function does. I'm going to explain you two care function, and you know, uh, you can say uh, 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 power of two care function using these examples. Okay, so let's jump to SQL workshop first. Uh, what I'm gonna tell you here, what if I'll do select six date from dual? When we'll select six date from dual, this is gonna give us today's date. Today's 27th of Jan 2018. Okay, so I'm going to use to get function on six date. Okay, so let's take our first example. Let me copy the set of these three examples. Control C and paste it in our SQL workshop. Control V. Okay, so when I'm doing select six date and to care six date day from dual. It means that uh, let me run this query first. Yeah, so this is what gonna, this is gonna do. Uh, this is today today's date and this is the day of this date. Okay, so this is the date day of this date. So using this two care function, we can get the day of today's date. Okay, so here month. If you want to get the month today's means current month, you want to get current month, you can do it by this query. Okay. So here we have the date and here we have the month. If you will extra, if you want to extract the year of the current year, so you can do using this way. This is 2018 means 2018. Okay. So this is how we can use to care function to get to get these data. Okay. So let's jump to another set of examples. Here I already have written all these examples, which will save us our time. Okay, so let me copy and paste it here. So when I'll do select, you know, sys date, two care, sys date, and D. When I'll be writing something like this, this is gonna give me day. Uh, you know, the day of this uh, year. Uh, sorry, the day of this uh, week. So this is, as you can say, this is seventh day of this week. Okay it starts from sunday sunday is the first day monday is second day tuesday is third day saturday is the seventh day of this week okay when i'll do a uh, sys date and under bracket i'll write dd it means it, it's gonna give me a day of month i'll run this query then you'll get to know this is 27th day of this month when i'm writing something like this it's gonna give me uh, that day i mean day of the month so 27th day of this month, current month. And well, when I'll be doing something like this, DDD, this is gonna give me, you know, year of the month, uh, sorry, day of the year. So this is 27th day of this year, okay? If after some time, if you will do, run the same query after, you know, 20 days, so it will give you 27 plus 20, means like 47th day of 2018, okay? So this is how we can get the day's value. What is the current day of this year or of this uh, month or of this, uh, you know, week? So we can get the value using this query. Let's jump to our sublime text and take another set of examples. Control C and paste it here. Control V. So what if I'm going to do MM? This is going to give me the month, current month using this format mm i'm writing mm so this is i'm going to get get the value okay uh, value in numbers when i'll be doing mon this is going to give us the month current month but in this format jan we are not getting 01 when we'll do mm we'll be getting 01 when we'll be doing mon we'll be getting jan and when we'll be doing month we will be getting you know the complete writing january j a n u a r y so so this is these are the three different way to get current month okay so now let's jump to sublime text and copy another set of examples control c and control v yeah so when i'll be doing y y this is going to give us current year current year means 18 when i'm writing y y it, it's going to give me 18 and I'll be writing YYY 
0 18 and when I'll be writing y y y 4 times it's gonna give us current year uh, you know complete year of this current year so 2018 okay hope these all three examples are clear to you let me copy another set of example control C and paste it here control V yeah so when I'll be doing sys date and here I'll be writing dd underscore uh, sorry dd hyphen mm hyphen yy this is gonna give us a date something in this fashion in this way in this manner 27 is the dd 01 is the mm and 18 is the yy okay then I'll be writing something like this here I'm writing dy not dd so dy mon and yy so how we'll get the result we'll be getting Saturday Jan 18 so here we, we need DD actually Saturday Jan 18 is not making sense so we'll be writing something like this and we'll get the value 27 Jan, Jan 18 okay hope this thing is clear to you and when we'll be writing day month year see how we'll get the results day Saturday month January year 2018 okay so hope this thing is clear to you let's jump to our sublime text and copy another set of examples yeah control C and paste it here delete the previous one paste it here so what we are gonna do we are gonna take the you know we, we will be taking year month and date uh, and then we'll be taking hours and minutes as well okay so let's run this query so as you can see 27 Jan 18 and this is the current time uh, we are getting a current time you know 01 is the you know hours 09 is the you know minutes and 43 is the seconds and am and pm will get will be getting here if you will be writing something like this am or pm you can write anything either am or pm it will give us correct data correct you know correct current data date so let me run it again see here 1943 it will be getting changed after some time so 1 10 18 so you know time is getting increased by some some seconds or minutes so this is how we get you know current date with time okay and when we'll be writing something like this here we are not writing am or pm but we are taking the times in two in you know 24 hours format so let's run this query and we are getting 0 1 because this is am so, AM, so we are not you know uh, it's not like that so it's am so we are getting 011038 okay hope this example is also clear to you now let's jump to sublime text and take these examples control c and paste it here control v yeah so here i have taken three examples when ha when i have any anything any number i want to you know make it as comma separated when we will do it when we have a salary and those kind of thing to make it you know to read it easily I'll let me do it uh, let me do select star from employee first okay so we have a salary you know column in this table so we I want to make it comma separated okay so how we can do that I'll be doing salary and under uh, under bracket I'm writing something like this so this is gonna you know make the salary in comma separate separation format let me run this query so as you can see this is 24,000 and somehow it is coming in this format actually and this is easy to read huh? what is the salary 24,000 4,800 4,800 if the data is big we can read it easily okay 12,008 rupees okay so this is easy to read okay so hope the things uh, things are clear to you we can if you want this with up to two decimal value we can round it in this format okay so let me run this query so as you can see 0 .00, 0 0.00 it is coming all the you know decimal values are coming here okay and if you want something like this you want to add dollar symbol before you know salary so you can write if you'll write dollar and you'll write the comma separated value it would be coming in this format okay let me run this query and as you can see do dollar get appended with all the you know salaries so hope all three examples are clear to you and i think all the you know examples of two care function is clear to you so yeah that's it for today thanks for watching the tutorial thank you very much and please don't forget to share subscribe and like the video thank you very much